Hi there. You're in the lab with you, mate, JJ. So this is it. This is the 10th uh, project. We're working our way through our Maxitronics 10 in 1 electronic project lab. We're up to project 10. Uh, project 10 is the burglar alarm. Uh, and uh, uh, it's, uh, it's basically to demonstrate how you can use uh, a transistor as a switch um, that works the opposite to a normal switch. Usually if you want to turn on a switch, you close the circuit and it closes the thing and that turns it on. In this circuit, when you open the circuit, that's when it turns on. So um, just showing you really uh, how, how to use a transistor as a switch. Um, and uh, yeah, it's the last circuit. So um, after we wrap up this one, I'll, I'm going to um, uh, do, do, do a conclusive conclusion video and then we're going to get into the next project. So um, let's hop over to the booth and put this guy together and see how we go. Here we are in the booth. I'm going to put together our, uh, our final uh, project. This is the uh, burglar alarm. It's project number 10. It's the final project in our kit. So uh, we'll finish this one and then we'll go on to the next one. The next one's called uh, the robot sensor 20. The 20 projects. It's got something to do with robotics. I haven't had a close look at it yet myself, so we'll find out soon enough. I'll just throw you over to the, uh, to the book can and we'll have a look at this uh, <coughs> description. So uh, as I said, circuit number 10, burglar alarm. This circuit is an audio frequency oscillator that may be used as a tripwire detector. The feedback oscillator won't produce a signal as long as the closed wire circuit is really closed attached at both ends and not broken. However, if the closed wire circuit is broken or disconnected, the alarm will go off in the earphone. <clears throat> First, connect the circuit shown without the closed wire circuit. You will get an alarm until you press the key. The closed key <clears throat> acts as a closed wire circuit, so the alarm should stop when you press the key. All right, well, um, let's just throw this guy together and then we'll take him over to the uh, bench and have a look at him. Um, I, s <clears throat> I suppose this has got some sort of oscillator in it. Uh, we'll find out. Now I'll just uh, flip this over to the schematic, which has got the wiring diagram. So put that there. All right. Now, oh, I see there's more explanation here. It's, it goes on. Now set the tripwire when, wherever you need it. Just set the wire up so that if anyone walks in or even opens a door or a window, the wire is broken. This will immediately set off the alarm. You can also use a normally closed switch that opens when a particular door or window is opened. So it's, uh, it's got nine wires there with one optional wire. Um, okay, fair enough. So I suppose this is just really just another oscillator, isn't it? And uh, it's either on or it's off. So uh, we've got uh, pin 10 to 16. This is 10 and 16. <clears throat> and then we've got... Uh, so, so, so 10 to 16, that's why the base of the MPN transistor in to the 0 0.01 microfarad ceramic capacitor. And then uh, 10 to 22 um, connects the base of the uh, transistor to uh, the 470 kilo ohm resistor. And then uh, 10 to 29, uh, 10 to 29 is going to wire the, um, the base of the transistor into the Morse key. That's 10 to 29. And then... We've got uh, 11 to 15. So 11 is the collector on the NPN transistor. And 15, 11 and 15. And 15 is uh, <coughs> on, the, uh, on the bottom of the transformer down the bottom here. So that's 11 to 15. And then uh, 12 to 28. 12 to 28 is just wiring in uh, <coughs> the emitter of the transistor to the other side of the Morse key. 12 to 28. And then 13 to 23. So that's putting the uh, transformer in contact with the other end of the of the resistor, the 470 kilo ohm resistor. Uh, 13 to 23. And uh, 14 to 26. We've got 14 to 26. Okay, that's wiring in uh, power. So that's the that's the positive power out of our 9 volt supply. And it's going through to the middle of the uh, transformer. 26 and 14. And then we've got 17 to 23. So 17 to 23 connects the, uh, the capacitor to the resistor. That's uh, 17 to 23. And then we've got 27 to 28. That's just going to pop in the, um, the negative power rail through to the Morse key. 27 to 28. Now the optional wire is... Uh, 27 to 29. <clears throat> so the optional wire goes from here to here, uh, and it basically just um, skips the uh, the Morse key 
So as if so, it's a, it's a it's a normally closed circuit, and then when the wire gets pulled, uh, the alarm should go on. So uh, that's our circuit constructed. We'll take it over the bench and have a look at it. Here we are on the bench. So we've just got to wire in our uh, earphone and our power. So the earphone goes down here um, from terminal 15 and over here to 24. Um, there we go. So the earphone's in, and then we'll hook up the uh, the power. Now, when I throw the power on, yep, we hear a we hear a, a, a hum out of the uh, aerial. I don't know if you can hear that. Probably not. Um, now, when I press down the Morse key, it stops. So um, I think that the the principle here uh, is uh, the the normally closed versus normally open uh, thing. So it's actually uh, when the when the circuit is closed, it's off. When it's open, it's on. So that's kind of the opposite of what you do with a normal switch. Um, and the way it works, of course, is with the the transistor. That the the, the, um, the uh, so we should be able to have a look actually here on the uh, on the schematic and just basically figure it out. Can you see that? Let's see if I can put that there. Is that legible to you? I'm not sure. Um, so uh, when the um, When the circuit has the uh, um, the wire attached, um, there's a path straight to ground. You see, it just goes straight to ground, which means that there's no voltage put on the uh, the base. Um, but when the, the the wire gets pulled, th there is a voltage on the base, which means that the circuit can function. I guess that's how that works. Um, I suppose we should put in our uh, oscilloscope. Um, this again is really, it's just an oscillator um, to make the tone. So we should just see that that oscillating uh, frequency on the scope, but let's wire him up and have a look. So we've got uh, negative over here on the emitter of the NPN transistor and here. And then if we just hit auto, uh, that's our um, <coughs> Oh, wrong one. That's the one. There we go. All right. So that's that's our oscillator. Um, and if we press the the button down, why hasn't that stopped? I was expecting that to stop. It's going to take a break. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm back. I uh, I uh, I was just having a look at the circuit. I managed to knock this wire out over here. So I put that back in. Now when I press the key down. Uh, it's closed, which means that uh, the circuit gets disabled, and then when I release, it's open, uh, and 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 the circuit continues to function. Uh, the tone we're hearing is about 650 hertz. It's pretty reliable, uh, and of course, it's just another oscillator um, that's set up with the the transformer and the resistor and um, and the capacitor. So uh, yeah, that's the end of this circuit. I'll just uh, throw you over here to wrap up. So uh, yeah, the principle of action in this circuit was the, the idea that you can have a, a, a normally closed um, uh, uh, part of the circuit that, that, that inhibits the function of the circuit. And then when it's open, it's not connected, then that's when the circuit engages. And that's, that's the opposite of a, of a typical switch, right? So, um, and, and, and it's, it's made possible by a transistor. So that's that transistor, um, when, when, the, when there is a path to ground on the base of the transistor, uh, the, the transistor doesn't activate. Uh, but when that's taken away, then there's a voltage present on the base of the transistor. It allows current to flow um, through, the, through, the, uh, through the transistor, which activates the circuit. And in this case, of course, the circuit, as with pretty much all of them in this project, was an oscillator. And we saw that oscillator there on the scope running at about 650 hertz. Um, and that concludes the Tenuine Electronic Project Lab. So um, this was him. He's done. We've done all 10 projects. I will do a separate video as a, a, a wind-up, uh, and we'll, I'll just talk through uh, what we've managed to do with the last 10 projects. And then once I've done that, I'm going to start work on the next one, which is the uh, the Sensor Robot 20. So I'll tell you more about that in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you want to see what happens next, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you soon.